Hi guys, this is the point charge in two dimension. So in this problem we have um, three charges and the distance between them is um, the same equal triangle. Okay. And um, the first the first thing we want to examine is the what is the F3x? So they want to know the force on in the x direction on this guy here okay all right so let's go through it so this is positive and this is positive okay so it's going to be repulsive force from q1 to q3 it's be repulsive force and from q2 and q3 this one is negative this one is positive this so we'll get um attraction force and if you notice the x component for this guy is this way and the x component for this guy is this way too so we'll have to add them and they're asking about the x direction so we'll just take the cosine to find the um, the force from each one of the one of these the x direction okay so k q1 q3 divided by the distance which is in d square and then we'll add them plus k q2 q3 this is q1 divided by d squared the whole thing is times the cosine of 60 okay cosine of 60 because this is um, an equal triangle so everything here is 60 which means that this guy is 62 Okay, so let's say a k q three divided by d over two times the cosine of the sixty. Okay, inside will be only q one plus q two. Cool. All right. So let's go to the second one. And you can see that the, the direction for this guy is and the x positive direction. Okay. So the second question is, um, let's see, what is the f three y? Okay. So they want the f three y. They want the in the y direction. So in the y direction, the only difference will be that the. Um, this guy here on the F3, this one is going up. The, X compo the Y components of this guy is going up, and the Y component for this guy is going down. So you can see here that we are um, subtracting them because the force is in different direction for each one. So we'll do the same thing okay, Q1, Q3 d squared this time will be minus um, ek q2 q3 divided by d squared okay but this time it will be we'll take the sine because we're looking at the y component right so sine of 60 for each okay so just doing some math in here we'll get sine of 60 times k times q3 divided by d squared and then here into brackets we'll get q1 minus q2 okay. the minus sign here um, I'm not real sure which one is bigger here but if um, Q2, the force from Q2 was bigger, then the force will be in the y, y negative direction, okay? But if the Q1 was bigger, then um, the um, direction of the force will be in the y positive, okay? So it depends which one is bigger in your case, okay? Alright, cool. Let's go to number three. 
So number three is we added um, we added one more guy here. Okay. <laughs> cool. And this is going to be a square, which is which has the same thing d d d. And we still have this one as a q1, and this is q4. This is q2. This is q3. And we said this one's positive, positive. And the new one was positive. In my case, it's what positive. I don't know about yours. Uh, this one is negative. Okay. All right. So they want to know um, what is the f two x. And by the way, um, q three is equal to q four. Okay. So that's in the question here. So f two x is just finding the force on the um, on the charge number two q two in the x direction. So let's see. All of them is attraction. This one is this way. This one is this way. This one is this way from this guy. Okay. So all of them you can see that it is in the x um, negative direction, right? So this force will be in negative x direction. Okay. So. So let's do the force from Q1 on Q2. Okay, so K, Q1, Q2 divided by D squared. The distance from here to here is D also. So D squared um, plus, um, so we're taking this component, the X component, so we'll do the cosine of 60. Okay, K, Q3, Q2, okay, divided by D squared. And since those have the same charge and they're the same distance, same angle too, then we can just multiply this times 2, okay, do you see? Alright, so our final... Um, Variable and variables will be will look like this. So we'll take the k, and we can take the q two, and we also can take the d squared. Right. Then what else do we need to? Yeah, and then everything will be will just stay inside. Okay, so here we're left with the q. The q one, and then plus. Two Q three. You can put here Q three or Q four because they are the same and we're just multiplying it by two. So Q three times the cosine of sixty. Okay. And this should give you the answer. Cool. F two x. And don't don't forget it's in the negative x direction. Cool. All right. So number four. They want to know the F two y, the y component of the force on the charge two, and if you look at it. The, X co the Y component of this guy will take it down from Q4 and from Q3 it will be taking it up, right? The Y component of each guy from those. And if both of them has the same charge and same magnitude, okay? So the force on this guy will be like both each, each of them will um, like produce a... Uh, a different direction of the force, the opposite direction. Yeah, I should say opposite. Yeah, it's opposite direction. Okay. So since the same force and same charge, well, same charge and same distance and same everything, then the force on Y will be zero. And since this guy is only affecting in the X direction, right? Just pulling either this way or this way, it was negative. Cool. 
try. Um, so number five is what if what is if one x the x direction. All right, so they want to know the force um, one this guy here the x direction. Okay, so let's examine this guy. Let's draw this here. Same distance here. D, 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 D. Okay. All right, so um, this is one, and then four, three, two. This one is negative, the whole thing is positive then. Okay, so the force on this guy, um, from two, they're going to be an attraction force. Because this is negative and this is positive, right? And from those people, from those guys, it'll be, um, it'll be opposite to this guy. So the, the sum of it in the, um, the x direction, the component of those guys. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing as we did here. But it'll be negative because each force is in different direction. And we're going to subtract them. Okay. So let's try to put it here. Okay. So the F1x in the x direction will do it like this. So Q. Um, K, I mean, well, Q, K, K, um, Q1, Q2, 5 by D squared, okay, this is from this guy only, okay, so since they are in different directions, so we'll do minus, and then both of them has the same magnitude, so we'll just take one of them and multiply it by 2, so 2, and then Q3, you know, I should say Q4, Q4, um, Q2, then I forget the K, and divided by D squared. And here we also have the cosine of 60. Okay, because we're taking the, um, the X component here. Okay, right, it's messy here, so let's just fix it and get the final answer. 1X equal K. And uh, let's take the Q2, take the D squared, so we're left with Q1, 2, Q4, cosine of 60. Okay. Alright, um, let's get the last question. The last question is how would you change Q1, um, keeping all the charge is fixed in order to make the net force on Q2 equal to zero. Okay. So the answer is just decreasing its magnitude and change the sign. Okay. So we're changing Q1. We're changing Q1. And keeping everything the same to make the um, force on Q2. Force on Q2. Zero. So we need to make this force that's going in this way because it's positive. We need to make it the other way. So we need to make this a negative force. Okay. And we need to decrease the magnitude. All right. Hope this helped, guys. And good luck.